the same rejoiced theme of Govinda. Govinda would be played on a game field spread over an area of 14 meters by 13.5 meters. The game field consists of two separate areas. The outer area, Pacific blue in color, is called the manual area. The inner area, green in color, is called the autonomous area. The autonomous area consists of squares made up of grid lines of size 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters, except for the central tower area. The tower-like structures placed at all corners of the autonomous area are called gopis, which symbolize the milkmaids. The pot or the matka and the cheese or the paneer balls are placed on top of all the gopis. The total height of the gopis with the pot and the cheese is 750 millimeters from the ground. There are two side towers in each half of the autonomous area with a bowl on the top containing cubes of white butter. There is a central tower carrying a yellow butter cube symbolizing the handi. There are four rectangular pockets on the game field called the baskets or tokris. Red baskets are for the red team and blue baskets are for the blue team. The pot and the cheese are to be deposited in these baskets. There are two manual machine start zones in the manual area located on opposite sides for the red team and the blue team respectively. There are two autonomous machine start zones in the autonomous area, one each for the red team and the blue team. There is a common area of 2000 mm by 1500 mm for each team. Points would be scored when pots and or cheese are transferred to the respective team's baskets by autonomous or manual machines. Points would also be awarded when yellow or white butter is picked up by an autonomous machine and is held successfully in the air. The team collecting the maximum number of points at the end of three minutes would be the winner. However, if a team picks up all the three butter cubes directly from the bowls and holds them in the air, it will be declared Govinda, the winner. <laughs>